Freedom Fighters, back with another one. If you haven't heard, they charged four people with sedition from the protest at the January 6th event at the Capitol. I was watching an interview on one of these channels and they were saying how sedition is basically treason's little brother. So they charged these people with treason. And sedition is a law that uh, they made during the Civil War. So they're literally using Civil War era litigation against you now. If it's not clear enough the times we're living in. You know, when you have a tyrannical, treasonous government and you try to stop the treason and they call that act treasonous, then you're in a civil war. I mean, that's what that is. I mean, when two populations or a split, the same population are fighting over, you know, a different country, because at this point, we're two different countries. I mean, it's the definition of civil war. So, I mean, that's pretty much where we're at. And then you got their uh, AG, Merrick Garland, and the head of the DOJ, and they're all in line. Uh, Ray at the FBI and all that. They're, they're out there like, oh yeah, you know, they committed treason. And Merrick Garland was happy to have a press conference, and he came out and... He was like, yep, this is an attack on the United States government and this seditious behavior, you know, won't stand. And he's like, yeah, they're, they're treason over here, treason over there. Charge that guy with treason. You know, raid the former president's house. Bring him in. Let's question him. Let's charge him. Let's charge his staffers, his lawyers, you know, anyone who supports them. They go all the way. It's only our side that's always like, oh, we're we're just good little boys and girls, and we just want to go by the book, and we don't want, you know, we don't want it to look politically motivated. We don't want it to the optics to look bad. You know, it was like Jeff Sessions. This was your job, but you didn't do anything. And then we had attorney uh, uh, interim Matt Whitaker. And it was, you remember, that was all part of the plan. Oh, the whole plan was Jeff Sessions moves out the way and then we get the real bulldog in there to, you know, to put in the indictments and all that. Nothing. And then we got clown Bill Barr, who was an absolute joke that had no spine, no guts. And he's like, I don't see anything and I surely won't be a part of any politically motivated witch hunts. Well, I mean, do you see what they're doing? And then you got Comey, which we now know, you know, was a plant from the beginning. He's like, oh, no reasonable prosecutor is going to take up these cases. And, you know, what are we going to charge them for? Because, you know, I don't really see anything. You charge them for treason, you freaking idiot. I mean, do we have to spell it out for you, retards? It's unbelievable. And, I mean, I'm so sick of all these people, and that's why I'm done voting for these rhinos. Or anybody, even when they, you know, even the ones that look good, that sound, you know, somewhat reasonable. I don't even put trust them in them anymore. Because I remember liking, you know, Trey Gowdy. And he was, you know, the barking chihuahua. All bark, no bite. And he'd get on there and have his little sound bits, you know, and then he made it to Fox News. And he, and he just did nothing. And that's what it's all about. It's about getting on Fox News and selling your book and selling Relief Factor, you know, and doing commercials. That's what they're all fighting for. Just to get on TV and make a name so then they can go write their book. Meanwhile, the left, like I said, gives zero fucks about the optics. They're foot pedal to the floor, you know, all the way on the gas pedal, no brakes. Charge them with treason. You know, go do this, go do that. Taking over the country. And you guys are like, oh, we don't know, you know, just trust the plan. And I'm going to do a whole nother video on that. You know, if you're still, you know, sucking in the Q-tard hopium and trusting the plan while your country literally falls apart. I mean, I don't even think you can be helped at this point. It's just too far gone for you, you know. 
you, you're, you're still trusting the plan. And it's like, uh, you know, Comey's like, oh, I don't know anyone who's, you know, could charge this. Bill Barr, you know, I don't see the crimes. You didn't see the plot. The It started at the head. Uh, you have the Obama-Biden White House and all the, you know, shadow puppets, the Soros deep state puppets, you know, within all these organizations and all the alphabet agencies. And then, you you know, you have the Brennan and Clapper lying under oath, Rosenstein. Uh, you got the uh, two lovebirds, the Lisa Page and Peter Strozik. You remember? Oh, we have an insurance place, you know. There's an, an insurance policy in place. Don't worry, these guys will never get in. Remember that? And then Bruce Orr. And on and on and on. But our side? Now, were we raiding houses? Were we knocking down doors? Uh, no. Because, again, we're just all bark, no bite. We don't do nothing. The left are full-on... Marxist revolutionaries. They are not going to stop. They are not playing games with you people. They mean business. They're going to take the country. Our side sitting around trusting the plan, man. That is the biggest psyop in history. What we're witnessing right now. And I guess it goes back to what I said in the beginning of the video. I mean... When they're saying your actions are sedition to take your country back. And this is what I go back to. You can look at my previous video called The Law Abiding Citizen. Revolutionary acts are never going to be considered lawful. You know, at Lexington and Concord, the, you, you think the king or the king's men, the redcoats, thought they were that was lawful? No, you had to take a stand. And it's literally in your founding documents. You know, read your Declaration of Independence. You know, it's your right to overthrow a tyrannical government. It's your duty to do so. And I mean, this is the disclaimer. I'm not encouraging or inciting or I don't support any illegal or unlawful actions. So don't go do something and tell them I told you to do it. Because here I am telling you not to. I'm telling you nothing but facts. Read your Declaration of Independence. That's what your founding fathers laid out. That's what they put in there to tell you what to do. And they gave you the tools to do it. To remain free and have a future for your children. You know, because one day they're going to be throwing... You know, it's going to be your family in prison. Or they'll just outright kill you. I mean, ask the Branch Davidians. Ask the Weaver family. Ask the Bundys. Ask Lavoie Finnicum. Duncan Lemp. Etc. Etc. On and on. You know, and rest in peace, uh, Ashley Babbitt. You know, this whole event. And you know, how pathetic is it? We have our women out here on the front lines. Our women... Are taking our bullets for us now. And all the. You know where are all the. Qtar patriots at. It's unbelievable man. But we're going to be asking. You know people are like. You know one day it's going to be your son. Your brother. Your dad. Your aunt. Your mom. Your sister. And people are going to be like you know. Where's the justice at. And who you know. Who's, who's coming to help us. No one's coming to help you. We are on our own. And that being said, you know how I always say it. We're on our own out here. No one's coming to save us. Get right with God because only he can save you. Freedom Fighters out.